Welcome to the Crimson Engine. My name is Rubidium. This is an update for the feature film. And today we're looking at using almost invisible camera movement to add emotional impact to your scenes. So you start out wanting to make a movie and you think it's gonna be car chases, uh, fight scenes, explosions, but the reality of the film business is that probably 90% of your independent feature film, even if it's an action thriller like ours is, it's gonna be people talking, people exchanging information, asking questions, discovering things, disclosing things. And the challenge of how to make that interesting um, is something that every filmmaker grapples with. What I'm experimenting with is a very subtle dolly push and dolly movement um, on those dialogue scenes. It's actually happening here. I don't know if you can tell. I have the camera um, on a slider and I have a motion control device called Pro Media Gear hooked up to the slider, um, which is sort of like a bolt-on solution. And I have it set to the lowest setting, one out of 50 or one out of 90. And what it's doing is slowly coming towards me. Um, so it should give you a feeling of rising dread or claustrophobia or even an emotional connection as the camera dollies in ever so slightly um, to give you that closer look. It's very similar to the reverse of what Coppola used on the first Godfather movie, um, what Bonaventura is you know telling his amazing story about his daughter and you know how he believes in America. What they did with that was use a mechanical zoom to pull out because they couldn't really solve the focus problem back then. It's very difficult to pull focus remotely over like two and a half minutes. Now with our um, focus, uh, face tracking focus, it's much easier. You can tell now I'm going, I've gone from a wide shot to a very, very close up and it's just going to keep coming closer. Um, what, I, what I plan to do is use these in monologues or even dialogue scenes so that um, we feel an increased um, claustrophobia or increased connection to the, to the character. It's something that you don't really um, notice consciously but your subconscious picks up on it and it uh, definitely has a larger effect than if it was like a very dramatic um, zoom in or push in. Before it runs off the end of the slider, I'll have to reverse it and we'll do a pull back as well. So as you do have the controls with me, the speed is far enough so I could do this on the maximum speed. You can probably hear the motor of the uh, motion control device at that speed. I'll set it, I've set it now at minus two so it's slowly um, pulling away. Uh, there are a bunch more videos of this coming um, and it isn't just going to be technical stuff like this. I do have a bunch of vlogs planned. It just everything's sort of in flux while we lock down the last really important elements. And then um, we're going to move to a you know very different format where it's kind of on set stuff and BTS stuff and um, much more inner workings of a feature film. So thank you for being patient. Thank you everyone who's subscribed for the feature film updates. It will definitely be moving outside of my studio garage very soon. That is my look at invisible slider movement. Um, thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time.